As I'm sure you already know, Kanye West is having a bit, just a teeny, tiny bit of an episode. There's a lot of things that I love about Hitler. And he didn't kill six million Jews. That's just like factually incorrect. Off the grid, more like off the rails. Saint Pablo, more like yay, stop, no. I wonder how much I can ruin my already broken reputation within the span of a week. All of this started one day after Kanye West decided to post a tweet that I'm sure you've already seen. And then he went on Drink Champs spouting about how even if he says anti-Semitic things that Adidas can't drop him. And then Adidas dropped him. And then so did Twitter. But a few weeks later, he did get his account back and it seemed as though he was testing the waters a little bit, but not too much activity at this point. And up until this point, I tried to give Ye the benefit of the doubt. The things he said were atrocious, but I had high hopes that, you know, maybe this was just another manic phase before he dropped another album and then everything would be okay again. That's what usually happens. But the other day, I had to draw the line when he appeared on Tim Pool's podcast. And when, when I found out that they tried to put me in jail, it was like a dog was biting my arm and I, 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 I almost shed a tear. <laughs> I think they've been extremely unfair to you. I think. Who was they though? We can't Cor tell you they is, can we? Press. I'm not using the, I don't, I don't use the word as the, as the way I guess you, you guys use, I'm, I'm talking about- It is about them though, isn't it? I mean, because, <laughs> no. it, it, because when you think <laughs> about not. it, 18. What do you mean it's not? It, what, what do I mean like, uh, uh, okay, so how about, are you leaving? Are you afraid of the press? He's gone. He went on his typical yay style rant where this time he was talking about how quote unquote they were trying to ruin his life and take away his career. To which Tim Pool acknowledges, yes yay, there probably are people who want to see your downfall, but is it really the Jews? And in response, Kanye proceeds to say, can't tell me nothing, and then just walks out of the studio. But this in particular, grinded my gears because it showed that not only was Kanye convinced that it was the Jews as a whole who were out to get him, but he was not even willing to have a conversation about it. And Tim Pool wasn't even vehemently disagreeing with him. He acknowledged that Kanye probably was going through some major shit at the moment, but simply disagreed that it probably wasn't just because of the Jews. I suppose it's naive at this point to expect that Kanye West would cohesively defend his position as seemingly as impossible as that might have been given his stance in this current situation. But at the very least, I had hoped that Ye would give Tim Pool a chance to talk so that maybe, just maybe, he could get some sense talked into him. But no, he just gets up and marches out. And just when I thought I couldn't draw the line any further. I, I like Hitler. I, I don't like Hitler. I know you're trying to be shocking with that. I'm not trying to be shocking. I like Hitler. I do not. I, the, the Holocaust is not what happened. Let's look at the facts of that. And Hitler has a lot of redeeming qualities. But every human being has something of value that they brought to the table, especially Hitler. It's time to stop. It was almost like Kanye West got up and left Tim Pool's podcast and walked right onto the Infowars set with Alex Jones and literally starts denying the Holocaust and saying that he liked Hitler. What the fuck? There is no way I'm in the real world right now. And to make matters worse, around the same time, Kanye posted another tweet this time showing the image of a swastika in the middle of a Star of David and got himself banned off of Twitter again. It was so bad that even Elon Musk, the proclaimed herald of free speech online, had to shut him down. <sighs> As a fan of Kanye West's music, it's hard to see this unfold. He has this incredible legacy of influence over hip hop and rap, especially earlier on in his career. It was like with every album release, he was single-handedly changing the genre. And it was his music really that introduced me to rap and hip hop music and got me invested in the genre. So it's disappointing and infuriating to say the least 
to see it all go down like this. Look, I'm still going to listen to Kanye's music. Spotify barely pays their artists anyway. I'm just going to pretend that Ye released Donda and then tragically died in that horrible house fire accident during his performance. May he rest in peace. And Ye, in the slight off chance that you happen to be watching this, let me give you some advice. Breathe in, breathe out. Stop playing the blame game in this dark fantasy that you've created before everything that you've worked for all falls down because it's bound to happen. Find some real friends, listen to the feedback, and I don't know, maybe go drink some water while you're at it. We're not trying to guilt trip you, but you are being heartless, okay? Okay, please, wake up Mr. West. Thank <laughs> you.